All right, guys, we're about to answer the question, do you need a tractor? Now, if you ask your wife or your girlfriend or whoever, they're going to tell you, no, what in the world do you need a tractor for? Well, today, we're going to go over why you need a tractor. And some people would say, and I would have been in this group too, this ain't a tractor, this is just a glorified lawnmower. And that's kind of accurate. This is a 1021 Bobcat. So really small. I'm pretty sure it's less than 20 horsepower. Very small tractor. Uh, lifting capacity is not very much at all. I think it's 700 pounds. So you have to be really careful with the, well, the grapple that you use. Um, obviously, I don't have a grapple on this, but I did. Bought one from the dealer. And the grapple itself weighed 400 pounds. Very heavy-duty grapple. Wasn't the one for this machine. Anyway, that's an entirely different story. But, man, let me tell you all. Since we've had the storm damage, this little tractor has been perfect. Absolutely perfect for what I've been doing. And I'll tell you why. And man, if I had a grapple on this, it would have been 10 times better. So let me show you what I've done with it. We'll walk over here. Let me show you what I've done with it. <clears throat> and you can make your own, own decision. So this is a tree that's blown over. And y'all can look back to see the chaos that this thing caused. But a big old tree, that's the root ball back here. And I'm having to shoot this on a wide lens, wide, uh, whatever, you know, wide lens. Because if I go to a regular one, you see how glowy it gets? Yeah, it's like a halo, right? It's cause my lens is busted. So I'm having to shoot it on the wide lens so that halo ain't there. But look at all the stuff that I've been able to carry down here with my tractor. I mean, these are some, these are some big rounds, guys. Some big rounds. That was a big pine tree that had got snapped off. And it was from this one right there. We'll go take a look at that. You can see I've already done some burning. And I actually burned a pile almost this size uh, over the weekend. So minus this and that, there was three big logs here, or rounds, I should say, that I burned right here. And it got pretty hot. You can see that goes down in there. I mean, it, and this is green wood. I mean, it, it burned it up pretty good. But let me show you where we pulled this from. This is a very random video. Didn't plan on making this video. That's how it goes. So we are making progress. You can see where part of the roof is being framed back in. Tomorrow, oh, that gum. I just realized that that glass is busted right there. How about that? Let's see if we can zoom in. How about that? Didn't even know it. Didn't even know it. I guess that was from all the limbs and stuff that fell on the porch. Anyway, uh, getting a new roof tomorrow. The roof is coming out tomorrow. So that's going to be exciting. Finally got my dump trailer replaced, repaired, and back. So this is the new trailer and I've had it for two weeks, but it did not work because I happened to buy a trailer that had a bad motor in it. So the dealer was very kind to give me, let's see here, ooh, great day. I'm not even gonna edit that out. They were very kind to give me a new motor and a new battery and a new switch. I made sure everything was good to go. And um, 
somebody in one of my previous videos or it was either on youtube or facebook they commented saying how long this trailer was a 16 foot trailer but compared to my old trailer right here and i think they're right like that is a very long trailer uh, now i'm curious what the overall length is but yeah this this seems a lot longer than my first dump trailer anyways so that got blown over all that got cl cleaned up y'all i can't remember if i made a video of that or not i'm pretty sure i made a short little video pushing this tree to the road <laughs> and um the county paid a contractor to come clean clean it up but this tree the one that literally wiped out my business i had the old trailer here both trailers were here stump grinder was on the old trailer snapped off up there and laid down you can see the path that it cleared out when it fell and it was all the way to the road way up there it was in the road <laughs> so over the course let's see two months i've cut it up and all that good stuff i had a contractor that was in the neighborhood um he actually pulled everything from right there to right here so i've been cutting up all the big pieces today and that's what i did i cut them up into small enough sections to where they put on the bucket because this is a small bucket and like i said the lifting capacity is very very small can't lift very much at all but man you're talking about handy in the yard like i've been going in and out all, all behind my kids swing and everything between uh this between that tree and the trailer and everything going through there very nimble little tractor it has been perfect um what i want to do at some point is try a little four foot cutter on some of this stuff right here and see how that does but yeah very nice little tractor and see since the storm i've been very happy with it i haven't used it that much i think there's 22 hours on it and the majority of that has happened fooling with this stuff and another thing i want y'all to see is i've been coming back and forth through here all day long all day long and you can barely see some little tire tire marks right there now these patches you see this is where this tree and limbs and everything stabbed into the ground so that's not from the tractor those little lines right there that's from the tractor but it does not eat your yard up because it doesn't weigh that much i think uh, the bare bones tractor weighs 1500 pounds so not bad at all so if you cut it up into the right size it will easily fit on your bucket there and i've been able to move it all down here a grapple my goodness i've already priced a grapple well, i priced a grapple like back in july but then life happened and i haven't been able to go get it see two things that i've priced to have the track i priced a, a grapple for this size tractor i think it weighed uh 200 pounds the grapple did versus 400 something pounds so 200 pound grapple and then i priced having the, the tires filled and that that was what i was wanting to do with the tractor still may do it I'm not sure we'll see depends on how long i keep the tractor because i'd actually contemplate and okay so i had listed that tractor for sale but it has been so handy the last couple of weeks getting the yard cleaned up so handy so let's talk about cons real quick obviously and i'm not going to talk about pricing on any of this okay so the uh this has been my only tractor my first tractor um so i don't have a ton of tractor market experience so 
Kubota may be cheaper. John Deere may be cheaper. I have no idea. So I'm not going to talk about the pricing. Get that out of the way. So cons. It is not strong. <laughs> it is not strong. But it's not supposed to be strong. This is a little tractor. Like I said, I don't even think that this is a 20 horsepower tractor. I think the 1021 model. I think this is like 19 and a half horsepower. Pretty sure. So it's not that strong. So you will find yourself, if you're not careful, and you're trying to pick up these rounds in, in this scenario, if you're trying to put uh, pick these up and you're pushing and everything, you will bend something because it is just not a beefy tractor. But again, it's not supposed to be. It's not made to be a bulldozer, right? So if you're expecting to be able to move a ton of tons of material or push a lot of heavy weight around, it's going. It, it's not made for that. Okay, it's just not. But man, in this type of situation, like I say, if you're working in tight spaces, you don't want to cause a lot of damage to the area. I mean, great day. I mean, I couldn't have asked ask for no better from that like i said the only thing that would have made that better is if i had the grapple on it if the grapple had been on it um it would have been a lot faster and if the grapple was on it i would be able to come in here and get some of those uh, limb debris and everything and that's really why i bought this tractor to begin with i bought a small tractor on purpose because i wanted to be able to get in people's yards and everything without damaging them and be able to clean up you know um i think there's a market for that I still believe there's a market for that um but i wanted to be able to get into tight spaces without causing a bunch of damage with a grapple and just clean stuff up the chaos that happened with this tractor and the grapple that came with it it was chaos the the dealer sold me a huge grapple and then i fought with them for like like the machine couldn't even uh, lift it up i mean it was just it maxed out um it could lift it up but it would have a hard time curling it the hydraulics were really messed up so I haven't even been able to use the tractor for how I wanted to use it. But jumping back to a grapple, a grapple would be able to come in here and grab this little stuff so fast. And again, this stuff right here, this ain't big. You know what I'm saying? That's not big. But a tractor would, that little tractor would shine with something like this, right? Because you're in tight spaces and this stuff it would just be able to scoop up without any problem and you'd be able to drop it right here in your dump trailer like i said i haven't even been able to use <clears throat> the tractor for what i intended when i bought it but it's uh it's making itself useful now anyway i think we'll drag it out uh, any longer this is getting fixed, thankfully. Work's already started on this, thanks to my brother-in-law. Much love, Scott. Love you, man, appreciate it. He's uh, already got all the parts taken off of it. This is just kind of sitting here, and he is getting a list together of what we need, and we're gonna order the parts. So it won't be too much longer until we're back to where we were before the storm hit. Anyway, guys, this, it was just a short little non-planned video just because i've enjoyed having this little tractor the last couple of weeks and because it's done so well in this in this particular job not very strong not very big but its size has been a benefit in this job every piece that i've wanted to move that was up there is now right there or has already been burned 
The only thing where this thing is really not shining that well is I did try and push around that stump right there a little bit to see if I could uh, break it loose a little bit and it didn't do anything. And that's what I was talking about. If you're not careful, that's when you're going to really bend something because this thing is not meant to push a bunch of debris. Um, heavy, heavy stuff like that. Now, if you had that little root, uh, sharp pointed bucket that like stabs into the ground, you may be able to do something like that. But this ain't the right bucket for that. Really not the right tractor, but with the right bucket, you may be able to get it work. But anyways, guys, we're going to call it at that. Just wanted to make a little video because we were able to get a lot of work done today. A lot of work. All because of this little tractor. I've already got it plumbed. Uh, I think they call it a three-way whatever. I've already got it plumbed for the grapple. That was $1,000 by itself, which was ridiculous. And then when the, uh, the dealer admitted that they sold me a grapple that was not for this machine and that couldn't be used by this machine, they wanted me to buy an electric grapple. And I was like, why would I buy an electric grapple when y'all have already made me pay $1,000 for the third function kit? So, anyways, there it is in all of its glory. 1021. So, should you get a tractor? I have no idea. I've enjoyed it this week. So, there you go. See y'all on the next one. Y'all be good.